Hi, I'm Neil Enoch, and welcome to Train Talk TV, the podcast about all things railroad. Today, CP's holiday train schedule is out for both the U.S. and the Canadian holiday trains. The Belleville Model Railroad Club finally has a new home. Chai Town Union Station assembles and runs the longest model train in the world. Tornadoes in Arizona derail 28 cars from a BNSF freight train and close the main line. And how about making a train scrapbook? for those that couldn't come along on the trip this summer. Well, our Railway Weekender is growing in size with over 100 train and railway events listed both this week and last. It's also growing in quality as word of mouth is getting out and people are sending in new events and event holders are starting to send in video clips and other press releases and things which we're actually able to list with the events in time for the events. If you want to get the Railway Weekender automatically delivered to your mailbox each week, just send an email to info at TV, and we'll email it to you weekly, usually on Thursdays, just in time for the weekend. Tornadoes struck in Arizona today and one of the three funnels that touched down managed to derail 28 cars from a BNSF freight train. The two crew members on board were unharmed and the damage seemed fairly minimal since the train had already pulled over to miss the storm. Barring interference from other storms in the area, BNSF hopes to have the line open again around midnight. Well, it is the season, or soon will be, and Canadian Pacific is getting in the spirit by announcing its 12th annual holiday train. They start running in November, and this year there's actually two trains. The Canadian train runs from Quebec all the way to the Canadian West, to British Columbia, and the U.S. train covers the Midwest and the Northeast of the United States. The links here and in the show notes will guide you through to the schedule. Since 1999, CP's holiday trains have raised $4.8 million and collected 2.8 million pounds of food donations. The train themselves are about 1,000 feet long, 14 or so cars. One is a converted boxcar with a stage where Canadian musicians play to the holiday crowds. Each train is decorated with hundreds of thousands of LED lights and is quite a sight to see. Crowds are encouraged to drop off food and cash donations, and CP will present a check in each stop to top off whatever is donated. Everything collected in the community stays in the community. We make a point of going down each year and seeing the trains. Quite a sight. If you get the chance, have a look. The Model Railroad Club is moving to the Bayview Mall in Bellevue, Ontario. The club lease in a Via Rail building had ended in June, and though they had hoped to move back in, they're pretty happy with the new arrangement. They have a smaller space, but with some extra storage, will easily be able to accommodate their layout and equipment, and they're hoping the offset in traffic through the mall will somewhat mitigate the uh, loss of the cachet of being in the Via Rail building, the cool factor. Chai Town Union Station and West Oakland Railway Museum have assembled and operated the longest model train in the world. No coincidence, the O-gauge layout also lays claim to being the largest O-scale layout in the world. The train consisted of 2,003 cars with two cabooses pulled by 26 locomotives dispersed throughout the train and measured 1,112.06 feet in length. I imagine the .06 is for the record books. The train ran on a standard model train layout with all the usual grades, switches and challenges of any model train layout. It took five engineers, each operating five locomotives and two to three hundred cars, and a great deal of balancing and practice to get it right and get it to work. Several episodes ago, we showed you footage of the Rocky Mountaineer trip from North Vancouver to Whistler, British Columbia. We also told you that we got to go on the trip, my son and I, because my mom couldn't make it. She didn't think she could handle the whole day trip. So my son at the time said I'd love to make something for Nana to thank her for letting me go and he decided he wanted to make her a scrapbook of the trip. Awesome idea. Here then is the process he went through in the making of his scrapbook. I'm here at Champion Lakes camping with my family making the train scrapbook for my Nana.
I've just finished my very first page of my scrapbook, and I have to say, and so does everyone else in the room, it's great. So this is Renan's final product, the scrapbook for his Nana. Um, he, he put the uh, bridge along the front, kind of under the line of the, the Rocky Mountaineer engines, telephone pole there, and he just wrote in his little notes. And then as you go through the book, there's a different page for each event. This is a bit about the train and the model that was on sale in the shop, and just different pictures from the train. And uh, more pictures from the train, a little thing that you buy all aboard. He likes these little uh, rivets. <laughs> and then uh, these these things here are um, uh, what do they call them now? Uh, the little packages of stuff you buy at the scrapbook store. And then more clips of pictures, sideways tunnel. That's interesting. And more scenery, the mountains going by, and some ribbon that uh, uh, Brandon's aunt found for him. Train ribbon. See the train pictures in the background, and then fuzzy letters. Just generally a nice little train presentation. Here we've got an old end gauge switch, kind of adds some train to it, some more of the little embellishments, that's what they call them, embellishments. And then pictures of me and the brother and the, the boy and the train and some good scenery. Now that my mom didn't like this picture because she doesn't like bridges, so she saw this and she said, oh, I'm so glad I didn't go, but hopefully that won't happen. A few picks up at Whistler, another very scenic spot, probably the most scenic spot on the route, some more rivets. They had a car show going on up on the mountain at Whistler. And finally, us leaving. So a great presentation from my son to my my mom, uh, his nana, and uh, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the show, please let your friends in on Drain Talk TV. We're on iTunes, YouTube, Zune, or Miro, and subscribing will deliver episodes directly to your desktop. You can comment directly on the show or share your own railroad news and videos with us at info at Train Talk TV. If you just like news from Twitter, it's at Train Talk TV. This episode is sponsored by Cribscape's Collectible Cribbage Boards, unique, personalizable 3D cribbage boards for the railroader in your life, now offering a lighthouse option on the railroad cribbage board. Available at www.cribscapes.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I lost my teleprompter. <laughs> Here it is.